welcome to Pelican Seafood Market and Grill. Today we're going to teach you to cook a scallop like a pro. Unfortunately, the pro didn't show up, so I'm going to have to teach you how to sear a scallop today. Um, we're going to sear a scallop and we're going to do a nice little pan sauce with it. Uh, our pan sauce will be comprised of a, a little bit of garlic, some capers, some shallots, some almond, a little bit of lemon juice. It's very, very simple, something you can make at home with uh, anything you have, really. Um, so we have a medium a medium sized pan heating up over a medium flame. Um, these are beautiful scallops that we sell at the Seafood Market and Grill. Uh, these are U10 scallops, which means you get 10 scallops uh, roughly in a pound. Um, on scallops, you always have a little abductor muscle, a little bit of a tip. You just want to pull that off real simply. Uh, this part gets really tough and rubbery when you cook it. So you just want to separate that from the scallop muscle. Um, another big trick with searing the perfect scallop like a pro, even though I'm not a pro, um, is you want to dry your protein really well before it hits the hot pan. So as you see, I have it on a nice little dry linen. Um, they've been sitting on the linen for a few minutes before we fired the cameras up. Um, so make sure both sides are nice and dry. And then we want to season both sides nice and generously with a bit of salt, some freshly cracked pepper, and we're gonna do both sides of the scallop. The salt, and we follow it up with some pepper. Okay, and then into our pan, we have some canola oil. You want an oil that's gonna take a heat well, so olive oil is not your oil of choice today. Avocado oil, canola oil. And then we're just gently gonna lay the scallops into the sizzling hot fat. And we're not gonna to touch them now. The worst thing you can do for your scallop is to over manipulate, over flip, flip it too many times. We're just gonna let it sit there for a few minutes until we see that the edges start to color. And you can already see a little bit of color happening around the edges. I'd say all in all, cooking your scallop top to bottom, you're gonna cook them for three to five minutes, depending on how hot you get your pan. Uh, for the pan that you'd like to use, I would recommend either a cast iron pan or a nice solid bottom stainless steel pan. Uh, I would veer away from an aluminum pan in such an application and this just has a better heat, heat hold to the pan. So as we wait patiently, we see that there's a little more color developing around the sides. We might want to just have a little peek at it. Oh, look at that beautiful color. And now we're ready to flip them. There we go. And now the scallops that we sell at Pelican are a sushi grade scallop. Uh, so we are okay to eat these. We could pop that in our mouth right now and they would be delicious. Um, I'm just going to give them maybe another 30 seconds before I, I put them on the plate and we move on in our dish. So we'll just put these onto our presentation plate. It's nice to have that plate a little warm. Then I'm just going to pour off that fat that we used to fry it because now we're going to build a pan sauce and we want to capture all that flavor in the brown. So we're going to add a little bit of butter. We're not going health smart today, we're going for delicious. And this is gonna go really fast. The thing about a pan sauce is it's a very fast thing. Melted butter, add about a tablespoon of finely chopped shallot. I'm gonna turn my heat down just a touch so I don't burn them. And we'll give it a little stir. We're gonna season with a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. And then we'll add a bit of garlic. We have some slivered almond here. We're just going to toast up. And finally, a little bit of capers and a touch of caper juice. Just adds a little bit of seasoning to the sauce. Oh, it smells delicious. Mix it all together. And then I have some lemon. Lemon juice brings everything together. It's our acid in the pan. So this is kind of like deglazing, a little cold lemon juice. Through a sieve to get the seeds out. Mix it all together, and then a touch of fish stock. And now we can turn the heat up high. We just want to reduce that to a bit of a glaze. Oh, if only you could smell that. <laughs> And then if you're not a pro like myself, 
and these have sat for a minute, let's say you didn't have your shallots chopped, you can just put the scallop back in there and let it warm up for a second. But they've only been on the plate for a minute, so I'm just gonna take our lovely little pan sauce and we'll just dress our scallops just like so. Pan seared scallops with caper almond shallot pan sauce.